So today during the day was 60 days before our trip for the Food and Wine Festival to Disney World. It's after midnight now, so it shows 59 days to go. We, I did the online check-in, which I asked for a room near the transportation, the buses that take you back and forth to the park. And hmm, I was looking for it here. Huh. I don't care which section we're in. And the ground floor. Yeah, there it is, checked. Ground floor and near transportation. It's kind of gray here. Not a very good check mark. So my first choice was we have a single room with a king size bed. And near, on it, up near transportation. And if possible, I don't want to climb these stairs every time I come back to the room. Uh, last time we were there in May, uh, this is a really great room. Uh, we were just two or three rooms down on the end of the building where there was a door to walk straight through the food court and straight out through the gift shop and to the uh, buses out front that take you to all the different parks and uh, downtown, not uh, oops, called Disney Springs now instead of downtown Disney and uh, really worked well so real quick kind of tired made some fast passes today found out some pretty wild things 60 days out there were some fast passes that were not available somebody got to them before I did they were booked up for the day I don't know if Disney Vacation Club is able to book 70 days out. Disney Vacation Club frequently gets 10 extra days on the public with dining reservations at 190 days instead of 180. And I think they may get a jump on fast passes by 7 to 10 days. Not sure, but I did it about 11 o'clock this morning and some of them were already gone. So we fly in, get in about 10.30. Our first event is a little 45-minute cooking demonstration, culinary demonstration. It's $30 per person. Uh, $15 per person. And it's a 45-minute. You prepare some little appetizer size dish whatever and uh, shoot the breeze with the chef that kind of thing Robert Irving Irvine I've seen him doing them although we're he has one at this we're not going to one of his culinary demonstrations but this one 2 p.m. is beef so we figure Getting to the airport, 10 and 30, arriving in Orlando. Uh, three hours, three and a half hours. Figure we'll make the two. So then, of course, the new Soren, <laughs> our favorite ride, most everybody's favorite ride on the property. Fast Pass. Living with the land in the same pavilion, then walk to the pavilion next door, the seas pavilion, and watch the turtle talk with Crush because it's always so cute with the children interacting back and forth with Crush and friends in the tank. And so, 
somewhere around six is really where we'll finish up with these three fast passes and that's when we'll start heading for world showcase to graze on a few of those little extra 30 countries food kiosks with about 300 little four and five dollar appetizer size portions of all sorts of good stuff <laughs> go graze for a while <laughs> oh next day's full day uh, looks like 3 p.m. she got us she changed this on me <coughs> Maybe we're going, nah, we're not going to Epcot and get anything to eat, because, nah, yeah, probably is what we're going to do. That's what's going on. We're going to go to Epcot, and you can't make fast passes in two different parks right now, and that's part of what stinks to high heaven with software. They're working on it. All this feeds into your phone after you set it up on here. It's easiest to set it up on a full-size computer in this form, and then your app on your phone contains all this data. It's really hard to try to complete it on your phone. So we've got a 435 sci-fi dining theater. So we're going to go to Epcot early. We're going to lunch with one, maximum two of the items at the food kiosk at Epcot and then go out the back entrance of Epcot and take a boat down to the studios and go in and looks like go see the Frozen sing along and after we come out of there we can go right next door and see what Star Tours is wait time for standby is Make a decision there, and then we've got the 435 sci-fi dine-in right there. I haven't done that in a couple of years. It's really killer. You'll see the pictures and videos. We do have a fast pass for Star Tours after we eat. And then we have a Toy Story Mania. 6.30 to 7.30 time period. That's kind of back around and in the middle of the park. Depending on what the standby time is on that, Epcot should be just slammed with people for this. Uh, and the weekend, it'll just be wall to wall, shoulder to shoulder. Uh, we'll show you pictures and videos of that. The promenade around uh, World Showcase will just be uh, people walking almost toe to heel and shoulder to shoulder across the whole promenade and at night groups of 30 and 40 just drunk as hell as long as you don't throw up or start a fight Disney leaves you alone <laughs> but there are some college groups that come and drink their way around World Showcase everybody calls it you can get t-shirts and check off each country if you want to there's 11 normal countries there you can go have a beer in each one of the 11 countries f for your day. A lot of people start that around after dinner time. They start drinking their way around World Showcase, especially when the park stays up until 11. Anyway, and then we're going to stay and do the um, Star Wars fireworks to see what the new laser edition is looks like in person seen it on YouTube Thursday gonna go graze it's Epcot brunch dinner and all we've got is one fast pass so far for Soren <laughs> looks like we're not even going to be on uh, early there that day 
probably going to sleep in until 8.30, 9 o'clock. Uh, when your bus ride is four minutes from the park, you can make a whole lot more decisions about coming back to the room for an afternoon rest between 2 and 6 o'clock while they have their Florida afternoon rains. A whole lot of stuff. Anyway, I think we're going to go over to the Magic, Magic Kingdom that night and watch the stage show because they also are going to close it down in August and refurb the laser programming and hardware on their laser show on the castle in August. We'll be there at the end of September. Go over and see what changes have taken place in that show that night at the Magic Kingdom after grazing in Epcot all day. Friday's just plain let's graze at Epcot. I'm gonna start out with another the first culinary on the first day is a beef. This culinary is a pork. <laughs> At noon, we're going to do Spaceship Earth coming in the front gate because it's right there. Big ball right at the front gate. Golf ball, they call it. Going to go to a noon culinary demonstration for 45 minutes. Then we're going into uh, afternoon. I guess that's where we're going to start grazing for the day because then we're going to the Frozen Ever After new ride. Fast Pass in uh, World Showcase at Epcot. Epcot's two different areas. Front part is Future World, and then out back around the lagoon, 1.3 mile circle, is 11 countries called World Showcase. So this is in the World Showcase Pavilion, and so we'll just start grazing on around. Stay there the whole day. Saturday, technically our last day, <laughs> we'll be back at Epcot. <coughs> we won't be doing a lot of grazing. One, maybe two appetizer size. And of course, we're going to do so soaring <laughs> just before our party for the senses. Uh, I'd have to do something about changing up this fast pass. Anyway, and then we have our 6.45 to 9.30 party for the census with the 25 top chefs and 25 top wineries in the world. Two bars and 45 minutes of grazing on appetizer size portions and small wine pours of uh, some of the best food on the planet. Uh, this is my event every year. This is the top thing I want to do in life each year is this party right here. Then we check out Sunday and we've been doing this lately. We've been um, <laughs> going to Epcot real quick after we check out of the hotel before we have to come back and get the uh, Mickey's Magical Express bus to the airport to leave. We've been going over to Epcot and doing soaring. <laughs> uh, there is a test. What are Pam and Vernon's favorite ride? What is? Soaring. You ask just about anybody who's walking in the park and that's Eight out of ten people are going to say soaring. You can just do it over and over and over and over and over. Anyway, so we're 60 days out. We got a lot of fast passes. Still got a couple of work on, but basically four and a half ish, five ish days for the food and wine and to be able to go to the party for the census. Less than two months to go. Have a good one.